every time I think I can make boba, I should just remember this moment. What are you doing? So I'm trying to make cute boba. Look at. <laughs> <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to Cooking with Mei Mei. So today we are attempting to make boba again from scratch. I have tried it in the past and it has not gone well. So I can only hope that today it will at least be better than the past times. So I've been seeing these really cute TikToks by Emily Figueroa, I'll put her page right here. And she makes the cutest boba I don't know, they're not really boba balls. She makes like boba chickens and boba pandas, boba turtles, and she makes it look super easy. And it kind of gives me hope that maybe I can make it successfully too. Um, so yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing today. Let's hope it looks decent at the end. That's, that's all I'm asking for. So before we get into it, if you love boba, you're definitely gonna wanna be subscribed to this channel and give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you're interested in seeing a bunch of exclusive behind the scenes content, bloopers, etc., check out my Patreon, link is in the description and let's get started. Okay, so I'm pretty nervous, but let's get started. So first we're gonna need four tablespoons of water and then we're gonna need one tablespoon of honey and then last but not least, the tapioca starch. And this is what gives boba that chewy texture. And also I store it in these to-go containers from restaurants when I get takeout. Does anyone else save these and use it to store stuff? No, just me? Okay. Anyway, we just need one teaspoon of this and then we're just gonna mix it up. Okay, that looks mixed pretty good. So now we're gonna pop it in the microwave for 20 seconds. Okay, so I'm finally back. That took way longer than I expected. I had to keep microwaving them in like 10 to 15 second intervals. And at first I was gonna keep counting so I could let you guys know, but literally I did it so many times that I lost count. So every 10 to 15 seconds that I would microwave it, I would take it out and it would be really liquidy, but you want it to be this kind of like gooey-ish texture. I think we finally achieved that. So now we're gonna add some more tapioca starch. It says to add half a cup. So I'm just gonna add that amount first and now I'm gonna mix it together. I'm gonna add the rest, but it doesn't seem to be incorporating that well. So that makes me pretty nervous. Uh, do you see this? I really don't think this is what it's supposed to look like. <laughs> okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to put it on this board and like kind of knead it, I guess. I'm just trying to make this thing be like a dough. Oh, it's actually not even hot anymore. And I'm pretty sure it is supposed to be hot. What did I do? This literally looks like cheese, like feta cheese or something. This is definitely not right. I think I'm gonna have to try again. So let's do round two. Four tablespoons of water. One tablespoon of honey, one teaspoon of tapioca starch, and mix. Now we put it in the microwave and hope for the best. Okay, now I'm back. It looks pretty gooey-ish. So now I'm gonna add in half a cup of tapioca starch and I'm gonna make sure to do it while it's still hot because maybe that's what went wrong last time. I don't know. If this doesn't work, I probably have to try out like a different recipe or something. This one maybe looks more promising. It's at least getting incorporated better. Let me add the rest of the half cup of tapioca starch. It looks like it's combining pretty well, at least a lot better than last time. So I think it's time to transfer it onto the cutting board so that I can knead it. It seems pretty tough right now. I mean, it's not too hot to touch, but it looks a very interesting texture. I don't know if I'm supposed to maybe add more tapioca starch. See how it just breaks apart like that? Like, I don't think that's supposed to happen. It just breaks right in half. I think it's supposed to be more of a stretchy kind of dough. This is not looking promising. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to start again. Ugh! 
Okay, so we're back and this time I'm gonna try another recipe from another TikToker that makes boba from scratch in the microwave as well. And I love her page too and she also inspires me to try to make boba from scratch. So first we're gonna need one third cup of water. Then we add one fourth cup of sugar instead of honey. So I'm just using normal white sugar and then one fourth cup of tapioca starch. And now we're gonna mix that all together. That looks pretty good, so now we're gonna microwave it for one minute this time. Okay, so I think this looks pretty good. It's nice and gloopy. That's what it looked like in the video. So I'm gonna add in one cup of tapioca starch, but I'm gonna do it half a cup at a time. And let's mix it in. I'm trying my best to incorporate this. Ooh, oh my gosh, look at that stretch. Oh my gosh, look at this. <laughs> Such a struggle. <laughs> uh, help. I only put half a cup and it's still not really combining that great. So I don't know how I'm gonna end up putting a whole cup in here. Maybe if I try to knead it with my hands. It's still pretty hot though, so. Ouch, 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 ouch. It's so hot, you guys. <laughs> My fingers are burning. At this point, I've been filming for over an hour and we're still not done with just making the boba. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try to transfer this onto the board and see if that helps me knead it a little easier. But I gotta say this dough is working better than the last one because at least it's looking more like a dough and it's kind of, you know, stretchy. And I think if we work hard enough, we will get there. Okay, I'm gonna try adding some more of the tapioca starch. We're still supposed to add half a cup more, but I don't know if this dough can take half a cup more, so I'm just gonna be adding it little by little. And every time I pull it apart and it stretches, it kind of like reveals a part that's a little sticky, so then I'm just dipping it into the tapioca starch. And they always say knead it until it's smooth and it's not sticky to the touch, which judging by how my dough looks, it looks like it's gonna take a while. <laughs> I feel like there's some secret boba making gene that I just don't have. <laughs> At this point, I'm just grabbing tapioca starch and putting it in the dough and hopefully it will help. I swear I've been kneading this thing for 10 minutes and I don't think it's supposed to take this long. <laughs> oh, every time I think I can make boba, I should just remember this moment and the pain and sadness I feel <laughs> and also how tired my arms are. <laughs> you know, it's starting not to look horrific. This gives me hope. Wow. Also, I realized that I need to divide the dough and color some of it black because for the cute boba I have planned, I'm gonna need some black to, you know, make the ears and the eyes and all that stuff. So I don't have black food coloring, but I'm gonna try to mix other colors all together and hopefully we can get black or at least somewhere close to black. I was hoping I could mix this with a spoon, but I don't think I can. So I'm gonna put on some gloves. I'm gonna add a little more food dye. I'm gonna put it in the bowl first and then mix it around. And then now I'm gonna get some of that dye. Oh, that does look pretty black. And fold it in to the dough. All right, I got it looking pretty close to black. It's not exactly black, but using the three different food colorings to make black actually worked pretty well. So I'm pretty happy about that. And now we're finally gonna try to make the little cute animal bobas. It's taken us a long time to get here. <laughs> First, I'm gonna try to make a panda. This one looks decently easy, but you know, it can look easy, but be actually hard. I'm gonna grab some of the black boba dough. I'm gonna put it like a ear here. I'm gonna try to pinch it together so that it sticks together. Here's another ear. It's already kind of starting to look like a panda. There's the eye. There's another eye. I don't know, I feel like I made the eyes a little too big. They kind of look like alien pandas. It looks, it looks okay. Doesn't look the best, but doesn't look the worst, I don't think. And then a tiny, tiny bit for the nose. I hope it sticks. That's my biggest worry, is that they'll just fall off when I boil them. Okay, first panda done, and I wouldn't say it's a success, but it definitely is not a failure. It has a panda resemblance, and that's really all I can ask for. <laughs> So next up, I'm gonna try to make a bunny. 
I think this is a little more advanced because it has taller ears, but we'll see, we'll see. So we have our bunny head here and we need to make the ears. I'm gonna grab two small pieces and try to roll them into an ear shape and plop them right on top. <laughs> um, it doesn't look the best, but it'll, it'll have to do for now. So there's our little bunny head. And now we need to do the eyes. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't look horrific. It looks kind of spooky, honestly. <laughs> okay, for the mouth, I'm gonna try to put a little X. I'm using this toothpick to hopefully get better detail work, but honestly, it doesn't look like it's working very well. <laughs> uh, what are you doing? I'm trying to make cute boba. Look at. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Maybe yeah. I should give up on the bunny and just do panda only. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think that's a good idea. <laughs> At the advice of mom, we are continuing only doing panda because she really feels that my bunny one is that bad. <laughs> Okay, here is our cute panda bobas. Do you see them? <laughs> what yeah. do you think, mom? They are very cute. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we try it? You can have the first one. Okay. Mm. Oh, I'm feeding you. <laughs> mm. Hey, Chewy. Is it Chewy? Mm. <laughs> Remember that time we tried to make boba? It was a disaster. Mm. This is much better? Much better. Mm. It is Chewy. Not bad. Success, success. And then I have a straw for us to drink. The drink. Oh, this is a straw. Looks like a chopstick. No, it's a straw. It's a metal straw, mom. <laughs> okay. But you don't like matcha, so you won't like it. It's matcha. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I told you guys she doesn't like matcha. <laughs> wow, I'm so shocked that it worked out because I was prepared for the worst. It is very chewy. I'm very proud of you. Oh, you, thank you finally thank you. have successful boba. Next time, you should make me a boba. As in like, you, your what? face. <laughs> <laughs> Too complicated. Well, it's like a challenge for you because you're so pro now. <laughs> anyway, if you guys like this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell so you get notified when I upload. Give this video a thumbs up and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye. Yum, yum. What is the secret for making such a chewy boba? I needed it for 30 minutes. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. I need someone to help roll up my sleeves. Oh, this struggle.